guys today i am going to continue with our topic maxillary artery i have already discussed with you the origin and the course of the maxillary artery in the previous video and i'll give you the link in the description box so we are going to discuss about the branches and the distribution in this video so let's start branches from the first part first part was what mandula part so we have five branches from the first part and the mnemonic to remember it is made m a i d made so let's start m stands for middle meningeal artery so middle meningeal artery it ascends upwards deep to the lateral pterygoid muscle and then it pass between the two roots of auricular temporal nerve two roots of auricular temporal nerve and it enters the cranial cavity through the foramen that is foramen spinosum okay foramen spinosum so here then in the foramen spinosum it moves laterally on the floor of the middle cranial fossa this area is the middle cranial fossa and it moves laterally and then it turns upward and forward and in the greater wing of the sphenoid this region is the greater wing of the sphenoid it divides into the frontal and the parietal branches okay that is about the middle meningeal artery now the second part that is a for accessory middle meningeal artery it moves upwards and enters the cranial cavity through foramen ovale okay so coming to the distribution or supply so middle meningeal artery i already told you about the course so it supplies outside the dura and deep to the inner surface of the skull remember our picture now coming to accessory middle meningeal artery it supplies meninges and the structures in the infratemporal fossa now in the mnemonic made the second letter a stands for two arteries okay that is accessory middle meningeal artery and also anterior tympanic artery so this is your temporal bone and here you have the petro tympanic fissure okay so the anterior tympanic artery it enters the tympanic cavity through the petro tympanic fissure so let's see where it supplies it supplies in the surface of the tympanic membrane okay now coming to i i for inferior alveolar artery so inferior alveolar artery runs downward between the spinomandibular ligament and the ramus of mandible and it enters the mandibular foramen but before entering the mandibular foramen it gives rise to two branches okay that is one is a mylohyoid branch and the second one is a lingual branch okay and then again after entering the mandibular foramen it passes through the mandibular canal and it supplies the molars and the premolars and then it divides into two branches that is the mental and the incisive branches okay so this is the course of the inferior alveolar artery so i told you about the lingual and mylohyoid branches which is divides before entering the mandibular foramen and also about the mental and incisive branches so let's see the supply inferior alveolar artery supplies the molar teeth premolar teeth and the adjoining gums and the incisive branch supplies the canine and incisor teeth so it supplies almost all teeth in the mandible then mental branch supplies the skin of the chin lingual branch supplies the mucous membrane of the cheek and mylohyoid branch supplies the mylohyoid muscle so now coming to the last one that is d for deep auricular artery so if here is your external acoustic meatus the deep auricular artery is shown in the red color it moves upwards and backwards okay and enters the external acoustic meatus by piercing its floor okay let's see its supply it supplies the skin of the external acoustic meatus and the outer surfaces of the tympanic membrane that was all about the arteries from the first part now let's see branches from the second part or the pterygoid part so here we have four branches okay so made okay are made she prepared prepared mango banana dessert okay 
prepared mango banana desert pmbd so let's see two of the arteries so this is a masseteric this is entirely this is the maxillary artery so this is our masseteric artery and here goes our buccal artery mm. and here this is your temporalis muscle and these two arteries which supplies the temporalis muscle is the deep temporal artery so let's see the four arteries the four branches are pterygoid branches which supply the medial and lateral pterygoid muscle masseteric artery that supplies the masseter muscle buccal artery that supplies the buccinator muscle and deep temporal artery that supplies the temporalis muscle so each one of them supplies different muscles okay now coming to the branches from the third part okay so in the third part we are continuing with the clue so the maid prepared banana mango dessert or mango banana dessert and served okay served in glass plates at party served in glass plates at party so s4 sphenopalatine artery it is considered as the continuation of the maxillary artery and it is the most important branch of the third part of maxillary artery so it enters the nasal cavity through sphenopalatine foramen okay which is in the posterior aspect of superior meatus this is this region is the posterior aspect of the superior meatus and then it enters the nasal cavity and it divides to two branches that is posterior lateral nasal and posterior septal branches okay so let's see the supply the posterior lateral nasal branches supplies the lateral wall of nose sphenoidal and ethmoidal air sinus remember this point about ethmoidal air sinus which you tend to forget and the posterior septal branch runs along the nasal septum and one of the branches anastomoses with the terminal branch of greater palatine artery okay now coming to the next one served in i4 infraorbital artery so it arises from the maxillary artery just before it reaches the pterygopalatine fossa okay so it passes through the infraorbital fissure infraorbital groove infraorbital canal and enters to the face through infraorbital foramen mm? this is easy to remember okay infraorbital fissure infraorbital groove infraorbital canal and infraorbital foramen okay where it divides to give branches to the orbital contents so before it divides to middle superior alveolar artery and anterior superior alveolar artery okay now let's see the supply it supplies in face the lacrimal sac medial angle of eye side of the nose and upper lip then the middle superior artery supplies the premolar teeth and anterior superior alveolar artery it supplies the maxillary air sinus canine incisor teeth of the upper jaw okay next is G for greater palatine artery. So greater palatine artery, it runs downwards in the greater palatine canal and appears in the oral cavity through the posterolateral corner of the heart palate through the greater palatine foramen. And it runs forward along the alveolar arch to the incisive fossa. Here is the incisive fossa. where it enters what lateral incisive canal okay to enter into the nasal cavity okay that is about greater palatine okay now let's see the supply it supplies roof of the mouth and adjoining gum which is very evident and it give rise to lesser palatine arteries that emerge to through lesser palatine foramen and supply soft palatine tonsils okay now coming to p for posterior superior alveolar artery so posterior superior alveolar artery arises from the maxillary artery just before it enters the pterygomaxillary fissure and it divides into two three branches and then it enters the foramina on the posterior surface of the body of maxilla 
and then it runs into the alveolar canals okay alveolar canals so here you can see it runs into the alveolar canals of the molars and the premolars okay so supply the it supplies the molar and premolar teeth and mucous membrane of the maxillary air sinus two branches left that is eighth party for artery of pterygoid canal and pharyngeal artery so artery of pterygoid canal and pharyngeal artery both run backwards okay artery of pterygoid canal it runs into the pterygoid canal and pharyngeal artery runs into the palato vaginal canal okay so let's see the supply artery of pterygoid canal it supplies the pharynx auditory tube and the tympanic cavity whereas pharyngeal artery it supplies nasopharynx auditory tube and the sphenoid air sinus okay so guys that is it all about the branches and the distribution of the maxillary artery so coming to the questions describe the following context about maxillary artery i've already discussed about the origin and the cause uh, now coming to the branches you have to remember the mnemonic made that is m for middle meningeal a for accessory middle meningeal and a for anterior tympanic artery and i for inferior alveolar artery and d for deep auricular artery okay deep auricular artery then you have she prepared banana mango banana dessert okay so p for what pterygoid branches m for what mesenteric artery p for buccal artery and d for deep temporal arteries then she served in glass plates at party okay so s for sphenopalatine i for infraorbital g for greater palatine p for posterior superior alveolar artery a for artery of pterygoid canal and yet another p for pharyngeal artery so write with this mnemonic and draw individual figure for each part that will be much more easier rather than drawing a single long large figure and labeling everything in the same figure so this will be much more easier if you find it difficult to draw please let us know in the comment section or send us a mail in dental school for at gmail.com we are here to help you with drawing the figures okay now coming to the reference i have referred textbook of anatomy head neck and brain by vishram singh second edition and also gray's anatomy for students third international edition you can also refer datta or chaurasya in your standard books get back to your textbooks read play this video along with it so that you will understand the course better use the mnemonic try to draw your own picture if you have any doubts or if you are finding it difficult to draw the pictures please let us know okay so if you found this video useful please do like share subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you